Okay, so welcome to the activity screen. With this screen, we can see our machines, our flatbed machines at this stage. Uh, you can add brake press machines, etc., to this as well, but at the moment, we're working on our flatbed machines. Basically, it allows us to see our jobs in preparation. These are jobs that have been done in Radan and are ready. From here, we can move them to the start screen. From this screen, the guys on the shop floor would be able to access these nests on their touch screens through to progress, through to completed. A number of different options apply. For a start, we can make sure our filters are on so we can hide or we could display different machines in the list. Okay, we can also hide or show the preparation screen as required. Now, if everything's working well, you should obviously see the nest, the material, the machine. You should have a picture of the machine, so easy to identify. Also a picture of the nest, so we can double click the nest and we can see a printout. Also, we should always have a time. If you don't have time showing up, there is, not, there is something not right and that needs to be checked on the nest as well because the system will show you a forecast time. On top of that, you should have your attachment icon. So again, if all the RADAM programming is correct, when I double click on this, you should actually be able to open up the RADAM nest directly and have a look at the nest. Not designed to make changes into it because it's already been approved, but at least you can have a look at what's going on in that nest and we can zoom in as per normal. Close that down. Uh, the other option to be aware of is we can filter the last how many ever days. So if I should actually come over to here and I went 10 days, I actually see the last 10 days worth of jobs in any of the columns. You can come back, we'll put that at 50 days at this stage. So you can do that based on what you'd prefer in the system. The search allows us to filter information. So if I was to type in P6, for instance, and I should see any nest that has P6 into it and that works throughout the system. Again, I can close that off. Another handy thing is we can obviously set a resource, which machine we're going to run this on. Okay, so we can decide that at this point. On top of that, if we double click here, we'll actually get all the information relating to the, to the job. All right, so we can see the relevant information. We can, all, we can also, from here, we can remove the reservation within work plan if it's tying up the material. Okay, so we can go okay. From this point on, we can actually move our jobs into start. So we can move these across. Now note, if there wasn't a resource assigned, it would actually ask us to assign a resource. Now another important option is this here. In here, we can actually see per resource, per work centre, we can see the jobs. Now in this case, we've actually got the same job. Um, we've got two different jobs on two different resources. So I might actually change that. I might move this back to preparation. And I'm actually going to change that to the 4K. I'm going to move that across. Now when I use this option, you'll see I've got two machines. Because what I can do is I can actually move the order of how these machines are being cut. Okay, And that'll up absolutely update from here. I can, if I had a number of jobs, I can then put in one, two, three, four, and update the order, save it, and it'll update in here, which is the order in which the guys will cut the jobs at the machine. I can also add some instructions in here, okay, and that'll pop up at the touch screen as well, and then I can save that. Now from here, normally once this is set into start, the guys at the touch screen on the shop floor would then clock on the operation. And then, then they um, then this would move into in progress from there. Or I can do that from here, and I can move these to in progress from here. I can move it back. I can control that from here. When the guys have completed the job, they can then it'll then automatically move over into the completed item. So remember, the touchscreen operators can control this or. I can clock the job through myself from here. So I can actually move this across. It'll pop up. It'll ask me the actual runtime. I can put five minutes. And also I can put in here the actual material used. So I'm using one sheet. So if I actually put in one, close that off, that'll actually complete the job. I've allocated the time and I've also allocated the material. So that's a quick overview of the activity basket. Thank you.